Well, hello and welcome and welcome back. Well, today we're at what I call the Orange Bridge. It goes alongside of uh, Interstate 40 here in Albuquerque. Now, I have been here before, but I've only gone north. Going to try something new and go south. I'm not sure why I haven't gone that way before. Uh, maybe intimidation or not sure, but we're going to explore. This picture right here kind of shows you where we are. The blue X is the Orange Bridge and the red X is where we're going to go explore for a while. And stay tuned because when we get back, I'm going to go up on that bridge and I'm going to show you something very special. And that's right up there on the bridge. I'm going to show you something and to give you a hint It's from 1964 And I think that's going to be to me. It's pretty exciting. I love the history of uh, Albuquerque and New Mexico but uh, Let's go Got a nice little flow there. Sure, there's a lot of people out walking and uh, biking today. It's wonderful. Love it. I love going on uh, new trails, completely different sites. Of course, you know, the Bosque, you know you're in the Bosque, but uh, you don't know where the trails lead. So it's kind of exciting. Love it. ancient obelisks from ancient times the ancient people built these now you may notice in my shadow there I'm trying to use my gimbal again trying to make things a little more smooth I've had a hard time with it in the past where it kind of flipped and flopped so if things get wobbly it's not my fault I've also increased the uh, resolution so hopefully you notice a little bit better quality let me know Roadrunner just uh, swooped down and got himself a lizard decided to even take another trail because it looks so cozy in here 
It's in the shade. And it's a, just a small little trail. Oh, what do we got over here? I love when I find these little makeshift forts. They're just very interesting. I kind of wonder. Oh, here's a huge one over here. And another one. Didn't even notice it. How cool. It's like a teepee right there. Wow, this is so cool. I feel like I'm out in the middle of the woods. Like someone's been living here. Wow. Very interesting. Someone put a lot of work into that. Even has a little doorway over here. Okay, I have no idea where I am now. But at least there's other people around. This is so nice to hear. Okay, I have walked quite a ways south, maybe southeast. I'm not sure at this point. I'm kind of lost. But that adds to the fun, right? Like a little dry gulch in there. What is this here? This looks like it goes deep into the woods. Yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good though for someone with some back problems. Uh, it's a lot better now, but uh, I was walking at an angle like this for a solid week. <laughs> but uh, I can, at least I can walk now, but not, not very far and not very fast. So, let me see if I can find a way that curves back around. Does this trail head back north? Uh, hang on a oh, you got your. I'm sorry. Uh, Does this yeah. head back north anytime soon? Yeah, it'll. You'll go across some bridges. Okay. And then you can turn left and go back up to the oh, trail great. and head north. I thought, uh oh, I'm going to be in El Paso any minute. No, there's <laughs> there's lots. It, it's. Um, so it's not too far to where you start. No, no. It, uh, I could tell you, probably like a third of a mile. Ah. So. All right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy your day.
yep I started to think that I was going to end up in El Paso again you know you just keep walking and all of a sudden Did that lady say a third of a mile or did she say three miles because whew, we'll make it positive thinking we will make it Tylenol take me away okay we came upon a bridge I still don't think I'm going the right way though I'm still going Going kind of east now. Ah, we'll find out someday. Send water, send food. Well, I must be on the right track because I remember walking along the uh, canal here when I started. That looks like I've got a long, boring walk back. But I won't make you suffer through that. Whew. I just checked the uh, compass on my phone. In fact, I just loaded that the other day. It came in handy. So I know I'm on the right track, going north, northwest. I always do that, I always uh, bite off more than I can chew because my curiosity, I want to try a different trail, I want to see what's over here and, and uh, actually paid off seeing those cool little makeshift uh, shelters in there. Now where I parked was uh, about the foot of that bridge and uh, it's about northwest of Old Town, Old Town area of Albuquerque. And uh, coming in there you see the coolest old homes. Ah, it's just so cool. And I thought, wow, how would that be to be living in one of these old, old houses with so much history? Which kind of reminds me of a video I did a few few vids back where I was walking through this nice neighborhood talking about uh, it's sad that I uh, won't have the chance to live in a neighborhood like that. And uh, got a lot of comments about that's not important. Money, houses. And uh, I do realize that my real point there was you just don't live a, a long enough life to experience so many things. I mean, I won't live in a big old mansion, probably. Uh, probably won't be driving a uh, Lamborghini. And I probably won't be living in even a small 500 square foot home with a lot of history. So, I just wanted to make that clear. I'm, I'm not uh, into money or big homes or, I mean, I basically do these videos for free. Uh, I am trying to get to a goal of 1,000, which starts you on the way of at least getting a few pennies off the advertisements that are uh, that are played over your videos, which I have a ton in the past that they're already showing ads. If you come back to this video in a month or so, you'll see ads running through it.
unless I'm at that uh, thousand subscribers. Plus you have to have so many views. You have to have at least 4,000 viewed hours, not views, viewed hours within the last year. And if you don't hit that, you have to start all over again. It's taken me a long time to get to this point, so. <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing this because I love it and I care for you guys and I, I appreciate you guys. I guess I'm not the only one that's torturing themselves. <laughs> I'm gonna climb down here on this other trail or road because there's a lot more shade. Although it's not that hot yet. Still around 90 degrees for an another couple weeks. Then beautiful fall. Albuquerque in the fall is nice. Oh, nice lazy little river there. Canal. Well, there's a bridge. I love bridges. Wow, great shot. And look in the other direction. Yep, there's the freeway. Just need to get that far. And uh, hopefully, I'll have enough energy to show you what I promised uh, the first of the video. Thank the Lord, we made it back. <laughs> There's a big loop around, but now we're back. And now I'm gonna climb up that bridge and show you a real special picture I found. walk up here to where we're about level with uh, the interstate. Oh my, look how dry it is right here. Now just really flowing last hike. Wild, wild and crazy stuff. Oh my gosh, there's some people right in the middle of the river. Now this section of I-40 
was built in 1964. Going east and west over the river. Of course, right now you probably drive right through it, but it can get uh, pretty deep at certain times. I wanted to show you this. Check out, check out this picture. I think it's absolutely fascinating. You can see the uh, little berms on each side there. And in this next picture, just kind of looking down the freeway, where you can see the uh, where that old picture ended. It's a little hill or a boom, berm on the right side and left side, kind of by that little bridge up there. Pretty, 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 pretty cool. I think. That's amazing. Right there where it goes past uh, what's called Coors Overpass or Bypass, it goes all the way west, all the way out to Gallup, New Mexico and beyond, all the way to LA basically. Wow, this little offshoot right here has more water in it than the main river. <laughs> Let me know if you thought that was as cool as I thought. <laughs> I get excited pretty easily. I love old pictures. I love to find where they are and what they look like right now. But I think that's going to do it for today. We did quite a hike and came up here and showed you the bridge where I-40 over the, over the uh, river started. I'm going to think about that every time I cross it, which is several times a day usually. But thank you for joining me. I hope you can hear me. I'm on a very busy in the freeway. So <laughs> I need to get myself a mic. That's the next That's the next thing. Get a better mic. But uh, I really appreciate you. We'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned. I'm hoping to go on a little trip tomorrow. And uh, I hope you'll come along. Take care of yourself and those around you. Bye for now. Cause we've been told the story